I'm Pastor Lyle Snyder. I don't want to sell you fruit. I want to sell you people. Well, my name is John Pollock, and uh, I've been in the farming business, well, ever since I was 20 years old, I guess, once I got out of service, and uh, makes me 86, 87 now, so, <laughs> so I'm semi-retired. My, my nephew's running farming operations, you know. yeah. <clears throat> and uh, this is some of our citrus. Uh, it'll be ready to harvest probably come in uh, 1st of November and uh, uh, from August to November till, till, till maybe the uh, end of uh, uh, March, something like that, yeah. Hi, my name is Jeff Husfeld. I'm a Missouri Synod Lutheran here in Texas. I work with Edinburgh Citrus Association. I'm the sales manager. Citrus is one of the few things left that we have in Texas that we can't really do anywhere else. So we have the best citrus in the nation. It's a lot sweeter, a lot juicier. Here we can uh, run a lot of different farms in one place. It's the last co-op that's left in the state that still does citrus. Dan Shack uh, belonged to uh, the Holy Macklet in uh, Three, Minnesota. The kids and uh, and uh, just uh, found the right thing to do. You know, just uh, we enjoy doing something like that for, for everybody. So. Been in the business a long time, so give back a little bit. So. My name is Larry Myers. I belong to the First English Church in Tyler, Minnesota, and I am going to help deliver the oranges and grapefruit when they come in. I work part-time for Shack, and I will donate my time to go deliver the fruit. It is a privilege to help out. It's a fundraiser for the people in South Africa that the church has got a program, and from what I understand, there are four conferences that are participating in this program, and it's an honor to be part of it. My name is Shanda kirk -Heide, and I belong to Our Savior's Lutheran Church in Canby, Minnesota. South Africa is an amazing place. It was an amazing experience when I visited there um, over a year ago now. Um, the people are very warm and welcoming, and their their love of Christ is is unlike anything I've ever seen before. And it was it was an amazing experience to be with them and and to be a part of their worship and and to be a part of their lives. To work with them on helping them develop their church and develop their communities so that they have a little bit better standards over there. Um, helping with various things as far as. Um, Farming, education, working with, um, hopefully soon, getting them a well at a, an orphan center that they have at one of their schools, and, and really just growing our, our relationship in Christ so that we, we both have um, people from across the globe that we can lean on and depend on in, in the name of Christ. So it's a really great opportunity. Hi, I'm Alan Roloffs. Uh, I go to First English Lutheran in Tyler. What drives me as far as the fruit project 
A year ago, in July, we got to go to South Africa. <clears throat> we met a, really, a lot of really nice people there at the same values we have. There were a lot of orphan kids, and uh, they had needs, uh, and I thought it would be a good way to raise funds for them. I'm Pastor Lyle Snyder. You might remember me from the beginning. I'm back. I'm pastor of First English Lutheran Church in Tyler, Minnesota, and also the dean of the Prairie Conference here in the Southwestern Minnesota Synod. So why the fruit project? Why would we take fruit from down in Texas, bring it up here to sell in Southwestern Minnesota, and use the funds that we raise to support our partners in South Africa in a very seemingly unrelated matter? Well, a layperson, Mr. Alan Roloffs, he came to me and said, Lyle, uh, we should raise money somehow. Let's just do this. I think it, it works. You can do anything you want to raise funds. But when we raise funds, let's do it in a way in which uh, we know about people, when we're in partnership, when we're in relationship with people. Because anyone can sell anything, and anyone can raise funds, and anyone can give money away. But really, what's a gift without relationship? What's a gift without walking with somebody and being in relationship with someone? And what's a gift without knowing someone? So how does this work? Well, you can either purchase fruit online and pay through PayPal, or you can order fruit using one of the order forms provided by your congregation. All funds raised will go to South Africa to be determined uh, by your own conference. For instance, in the Prairie Conference, all of our funds will go to school tuition and school uniforms for children in the Umphalozi circuit. It's not really about oranges. It's not about fruit. It's, it's not about fundraising. It's really about relationship. It's about people.